Hello and welcome back to The Wandering Wind. This is the intro video for my new series, The Truth Is. The Bible offers lots of information and truth about how life is and how life can be. And if we read it and we read it well, we can see just how wonderful the grace and love of God is. So, in this introductory video, I will be going over some of the key points that I'm going to be using in this teaching series, going through topics in the Bible based on what the scripture is saying. So, in the first three different, in the first three videos in my series, I'm going to be talking about Jesus and truth. In the first video, I will be discussing how Jesus loves us and how through his love we were given grace to be able to find salvation in him. And then in my second video titled Jesus is the Way, I will be going deeper into why Jesus' path is the only way to a fulfilling and eternal life and why every other path fails to meet the expectations and desires that our hearts truly have. And then in the third video, I will be talking about why truth is not subjective. In this day and age of cancel culture, counterculture, and just alternative culture, we have so many different viewpoints of what truth even should be that it often becomes confusing and even problematic for many people. So having a clear, defined reason why truth is the way it is requires having a source beyond ourselves, which is why truth is not subjective, but objective. Then in the next parts of the series, in, ver in videos 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, I will be going into different topics of specifically different life issues. In the fourth video titled, It's Not Easy, I will be talking about why life is difficult and why sometimes when things aren't fair in our eyes, it's not any, any moral failing of ourselves or the world, but rather the nature of sin and its destructive tendencies. Then in, ver then in the fifth video in my series, I'll be talking about why we fall and how sometimes when we fall, there's nothing better to do than just to move forward. Because honestly, as imperfect human beings, we will find ourselves failing, falling, and sometimes faltering in our walk, both just as human beings and in our Christian walk with Jesus. In my sixth video, titled Choices Matter, I will be talking about why choice comes up so much, especially in the New Testament as well, because Jesus offers choices to people. Come follow me, sell all your possessions and follow me, he says to the rich young ruler. He says to each of the 12 disciples, follow me, and they had the choice to either do so or not. He offers choices to his people, not in a way of, well, you're either going to get get free or you won't, but rather in a way of, let me show you how to live better. Let me show you the way that leads to life and not the way that leads to destruction. And in, this, in much the same way, Jesus offers us choices in our lives when it comes to how we live, learn, love, and develop in our walk with him. And then, In video seven of my series, I talk about how your past can be redeemed by purpose. And this talks specifically about those of us who have experienced trauma and pain in our past. And yet that pain and that past can be redeemed through God's purpose that what you've been through can help you encourage someone else who's going through a similar thing. Case in point with me, I've been through addiction. I've been through 
verbal, emotional, physical, and one-time sexual abuse. And so therefore, I can speak on these topics and encourage people who have been through the same thing or are going through the similar things that even though it's not good and even though God doesn't will it, God can still use it and God can still transform it and redeem it. And then in the final video that I have scheduled here, titled Pain Gives Way to Praise, I talk about how grief and pain can often be motivators to praising God, citing sources mainly from Daniel and the Psalms, where I talk about how even in his most painful moments, Daniel decided to praise the Lord rather than give in to despair. And so these are just the few videos that I have so far scheduled. I have many more ideas knocking around in my head, and I will prayerfully consider adding them to the list. But in the meantime, I want you guys to offer suggestions for possible future videos as well that I can start adding and praying about in the future. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. I thank you. I praise God for each and every one of you listening and watching. And I hope to see you again here soon. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Take care.